The following is a video tutorial on the CMS application for the Magic Series DVRs. I'm going to start by launching the application. Um, to initially add your device, you're going to hit the plus sign over here on the left, add a device. You're going to enter the name of the device. If it's using a Magic IP, you're going to put a check and a device name. If you're using an IP address, you will enter the IP port number, username and password. Uh, once you've entered all the information for your device, you're going to right click on the device and press connect. Uh, when it initially connects, you'll see that you have this uh, model number to the right here of the name of the device. You can drag and drop this over and you'll be able to see all your cameras. Uh, this is a live view. If we want to see full screen, we're going to double click. Now we can see a full screen image. If um, we want to change the split to a 4 or a 9 or 16, we can do so by pressing these buttons over here on the top. Uh, next, I'm going to show you how to do a playback. So uh, to playback, you still have to do the very first step. The very first step we did was add the device and connect to it. So you want to be connected to the device when you start the playback. We're going to hit the plus sign over here to create a new tab. And now we're going to choose the search view option, this icon over here. Uh, I will be able to select any of the devices I'm connected to. I've selected the Briarwood device that we're connected to. Uh, now I'm in the search screen, so I want to choose a date. I'm going to scroll down, go to the calendar, choose a date. I want to choose a time. Down here we have a graphical representation of the time uh, going from midnight to midnight. I'm going to choose 1 p.m. approximately over here. As soon as I double click, you're going to see the video starts to play. This, de this device is set to record on motion. So only the devices that, uh, I'm sorry, only the cameras that were, were uh, had motion at that time are, are recording video. So you can see here now we have the video playback going on. Uh, we can adjust the playback speed, you know, fast forward um, over here where the time navigation is. We can also jump ahead by double clicking to another part. You can see we're getting later and later in the day. Um, usually the next step after uh, playback is downloading video. Uh, before we get to download the video, I want to uh, show you a couple of settings. So I'm going to pause this video playback we have going on. I'm going to go to the settings over here, the hammer on the top right. Um, if you go to instance backup, you're going to see the directory. Uh, where your video is going to be backed up. Uh, this is important because after you back up your video, you want to find it. I just copied that to my clipboard. Um, next is the format. Um, we tend to back up an MP4 because we upload to the um, Dropbox account. And uh, in, in, in MP4 format, you'll, you'll be able to play from any browser through uh, Dropbox. Um, However, if you do MP4, you will only be able to do a single uh, camera at a time. Uh, another option is the EXE file. The EXE file will only work on a Windows PC. You won't be able to preview it if you upload it to the cloud, uh, such as Dropbox or Google Drive. Um, however, it will be a single file that will be able to play all of your cameras. So you're going to want to choose the appropriate uh, format. Uh, if for us, we're going to be choosing MP4. Um, so now we know the backup directory, we know the format the video is going to be saving in, we're going to press OK. Uh, you see this message here, we need to restart for these settings to take effect. Um, for the purposes of this uh, tutorial, I'm not going to restart, but if you change any settings, you should restart. Um, so now we uh, found the incident we were looking for, we want to do a video backup. We're going to scroll down, again we have this bar here, we're going to scroll down to instance backup. Um, uh, the, the file is going to be an exe file, which is okay for this uh, video, but I, I did mention we want to do an mp4, but you'll see this is the name of the file here. You can change the name if you like. Uh, you can put a check next to every camera you'd like to back up. Uh, the more cameras you select, uh, the larger the file, so you should really try to limit it uh, to the cameras and the uh, time frame that you really uh, that you actually need. If not, the file can get really large and it's going to be difficult to work with and, and transfer. Um, 
Next, you're going to want to choose a date and time. I'm going to choose a very short time period because I want this backup to go through quickly. But uh, it is possible that if, you know you'll need a larger backup, and it could take hours uh, to download. So let me choose a date and time. Once you have your start time and end time selected and you've selected the cameras uh, you wanted to back up, you're gonna hit start. Um, I'm not going to put a password. Right now the video backup is in progress. the bottom here you can't see it because my taskbar is in the way and um, I have the screen set to a, a lower resolution than I normally do but on the bottom here there's actually a progress bar that's showing the progress of the video once the video is completed downloading you can go to that folder where we um, copied to the clipboard earlier which will take us here you can see that the file is in the process of downloading as soon as this file finishes downloading, we'll be able to run this exe file and see all the backed up videos. Um, so um, that completes this video. Thank you.